You're listening to the Conference Board of Canada's Mental Health and COVID-19 series with Dr. Bill Howitt, Chief of Research, Workplace Productivity. Hi, Bill Howitt, Mental Health COVID-19 with the Conference Board of Canada. And it's sunny outside and looking forward for my walk today. And I have a few things that I want to accomplish today. How about you? Is it interesting that we're going to start to set some goals for ourselves for what we want to have and what we don't want to have each day? Now, it's interesting whenever we have a difference between what we want and what we have, that can sometimes create a thing called stress. And sometimes we're a little bit more sensitive than we are in other times. And I don't know how you're doing, and some of you will be doing really, really super good, and some of you might be finding yourself becoming a little bit more irritable. That's what I want to talk today about is a concept around emotionality and it started to facilitate a bit of a conversation today in the time that I have with you on emotional uh, fragility, meaning that some of us, our emotions, we may not find that we're as tolerant as we normally are. We may have a shorter fuse. We might be a little bit more edgy. We perhaps because we've been anxious and we're worrying about things and the uncertainty and all this stuff is really normal because we're in the middle of a pandemic and we've not seen this before. And so we're learning how to be able to start to reset, recalibrate, relearn, do things we've never done before. Well, today, what I'm going to do is my mnemonic today is about giving each other a break. And B-R-E-A-K. And what I mean by a break is to be aware that it's normal in challenging times where you're learning as you go is your stress level starts to increase. If your cup has a hundred milliliter potential to hold, and before the pandemic, you had enough stuff in your life that you were at an 80 or a 90 just to get through the day to day of being a human being. These extra demands and challenges can actually start to bring your cup a little bit shorter, and you're, you might find you're a little bit more sensitive. Your thin, your skin might be a little bit more thinner. Some of you might actually, the other end, might be doing really, really well, and that's helpful because then you could be more tolerant and more supportive of people who may not be. And the concept that I want to get started with, with is a B. Be aware that you're not the only one that's having a hard time and you're not the only one that may be struggling and you may not be the only one having a challenge. Now, I know that may not sound like intuitive or make any sense, but the point being is when we're in stress and we have a difference between what we want and what we have, we sometimes lose perspective. I don't know if you have ever experienced this. Sometimes when we're upset, we might lose our perspective of how our behavior could be upsetting someone else, or we might lose perspective of how big a deal it is because we might actually have an automatic thought comes up and that says this, and we actually overestimate the impact of that. So if someone is five seconds late for something or 10 seconds late, and if you're more irritable, you might go, well, this will never happen. Well, they were 10 seconds late. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. However, what we call it and label it could be really important in the interaction for each other. So be aware and think about this and be mindful that you're not alone in this. That's why we're doing this video blog is to help support, create a community you're not alone and to be aware and keep that top of mind as much as you can. And so that can help you build more tolerance. Reset the R. Be aware that your expectations it's going to be hard to be able to set a routine uh, and structure, knowing that things as you start to settle in, something else could change. Uh, requirements can change. Expectations can change. Norms are going to change. We're going to be learning for a while. You know, whether we ever get back to, you know, you'll hear some people say, we'll never go back to normal. Well, I don't even know what normal was to start with because everybody has different experiences and their life has different challenges. We have all, all kinds of challenges in being a human being before the pandemic was challenging. And after the pandemic, it's going to be challenging, balancing the demands of money, career, relationships, your mental health, your physical health, or all kinds of stuff that we're all trying to be able to balance. The R, though, is important for you to be aware of setting your expectations and normalizing them and being preparing yourself so you give yourself a break and you can give other people a break. The E, the important for you, is empathy. Giving yourself 
um, some empathy and giving other people empathy is important to in regards to facilitating the opportunity for yourself for self-compassion and empathy. And empathy, what's important to understand, empathy is a trainable skill. We sometimes forget that. And one of the things you'll do to get people to have more empathy is slow down and seek to understand through the other person's frame of reference what's hard for them and listen and help them so that they can give themselves a break. We, we can sometimes be really, really critical ourselves, and that can actually increase our level of anxiety and our stress and our worry. So by being patient, that doesn't start mean giving people a bunch of advice and telling them what how they should feel, don't do that, or telling them what they need to do, don't do that, or telling them what they need to think, don't do that. Listen, and so that's giving them a break so that they have a point to where they can express concerns, and get it out, and then they once it comes out, they can start perhaps resetting and become more aware they're not in this alone. The A, accept, accept that people are fallible. And before this even starts, there's not going to be perfection. Accept that people are going to make mistakes, yourself included. We're, uh, we, that, that when we do make a mistake is asking ourselves what we can learn from them so that we can grow from them because we're in a new uncharted territory. So we're going to be like, almost like mapping new courses. So we're trying to the GPS for how work works, the work world works and how everything works. Well, that's all going to potentially start to modify. Will it all change? No. Will it be factors of it? How we do things? Yes. And will we be able to have the resolve to get through it? Those of us that are focused and patient and believe and work collectively, I believe we will as a group. I don't think we can do it alone or individually. I think we only can do this by working as a group and accepting that there's not going to be perfection. Accepting in this time of a check you were expecting is a couple of days late. Ex expect that there's going to be delays or different things. Accept so that you can realize that people are trying to do their best, governments, your employer, your family, this giving everybody a break. That doesn't mean you're not, not have to hold people accountable for their behavior or action. It's just being mindful of what's going on so that we don't need to be so irritable or edgy so we can have kindness. Kindness is going to be important to be able to help us get through this. And the last one is the K. And in times when we get stressed and confused, we often know what we don't want to have happen. And we sometimes lose track of knowing what we want to have happen. Giving yourself clarity to deal with your emotions and help yourself not to be so irritable is focus on what you want with intention and be mindful that it may need to adjust and flex. But be clear of what really matters. The most important things based on your values, your family, your children, your parents, those things really are things that you want to have and value. And so the, when they start to create noise or static or difference between what you want, give them a break and understand they're like you, they're trying to do the best they can. And the more we can give each other a break in this point in time and support each other in this process as we're going through it, we're going to be able to help each other with the difficult conversations that are going to happen. There are going to be some tough conversations that are going to happen. Topics such as domestic violence, divorce, anger, and mental health issues, increase in anxiety and depression, and death. These are things that we'll need to have some conversations around in grief and loss. And not all of us will be impacted the same way. However, if we can sit back and realize that everybody is in this together, that we prepare to support as a community, we'll get through this one day at a time. So with that, I'm going to wish you a good day and focus on what you can control today. And remember, keep those basics down. Support your healthcare workers. Take care of yourself with vigilance. Stay healthy as you can. And each day you do is one more day. We're closer to some other side of this, whatever that is. We'll figure it out together. But today we can control today. With that, have a good day.
Hi, Bill Howitt here. Hopefully you're finding these videos of some value. If you'd like to share these, on the lower right of your video, there's a icon you can click. You can send it through your social media feeds. Join the Conference Board of Canada social media feed so we can keep you up to date. And if you have ideas or suggestions, please leave your comments so we can consider them. If you have things that you'd like us to speak to or talk to, I certainly will try to do all I can to help out. So with that, have a wonderful day.